entrepreneurship education and youth work. If young people are to succeed in the global job market, there needs to be a stronger focus on entrepreneurship education. As youth workers, we should create learning environments for the young people, having a focus on soft and core skills, including problem solving, team building, transversal competences such as learning to learn, social and civic competences, initiative taking, entrepreneurship and cultural awareness. This activity will allow the participants to reflect on the subject of entrepreneurship education, to encourage them to generate ideas through mind mapping and to share their experience, and also to explore the concept of entrepreneurship education and other key related concepts. What materials you will need? Flip chart papers, markers, colorful sticky notes and pens. It is important to make sure that we speak the same language, the entrepreneurship language. So let's start by having a common understanding of the following terms. Entrepreneurship education, entrepreneur, startup, social entrepreneurship, startup accelerator, incubator, unicorn and business angels. Entrepreneurship education has the purpose to equip the youth with functional knowledge and skills to build up their character, attitude and vision. An entrepreneur, in the purest sense, is an individual who identifies a need, any need, and fills it by founding and running business, assuming all the risk and rewards. A startup is a company that is in the first stage for its operations, early stage in the life cycle of an enterprise where the entrepreneur moves from the idea stage to securing financing, laying down the basic structure of the business, and initiating operations or trading. Social entrepreneurship, the use of startup companies and other entrepreneurs to develop, fund and implement solutions to social, cultural or en environmental issues. Startup Accelerator, fixed term programs that include seed investment, connections, mentorship, educational components and culminate with a public pitch event or a demo day to accelerate growth. Incubator. Facility established to nurture young startups companies during their early months or years. Unicorn, a privately held startup company valued at over $1 billion. Business Angels, an independent individual who provides capital for the development of a business. Now that you have, with the participants, a common vocabulary, form four groups and give to each team two of the keywords mentioned before and they will have 30 minutes to create mind maps for each of the concepts on flip chart papers. Most probably you are already familiar with the mind maps, however, a short reminder cannot hurt. Mind mapping is a useful technique that supports learning, improves information recording, shows how different facts and ideas are related and enhances creative so problem solving. Mind maps are more compact than conventional notes and often take up just one side of paper. This helps the participants to make associations and to generate new ideas. How the participants can create a basic mind map in five steps. Step number one, ask them to write the title of the concept that they are exploring in the center of a page and draw a circle around it. Step number two, Next, they should draw lines out from this circle as they think of subheadings of the topic or important facts or tasks that relate to their subject. Encourage them to label these lines with their subheadings. Third step, time to dive deeper into the subject to uncover the next level of information, related subtopics, tasks or facts, for example. The fourth step, Repeat the process for the next level of facts, tasks and ideas. Draw lines out from the appropriate headings and label them. And the fifth step. As they discover new information or think of additional tasks, ask them to add them to their mind map in the appropriate places. At the end of the activity, the participants will add the mind maps on the walls of the activity room and other groups can check them out and add new keywords and symbols if it's needed. After they understood even better the entrepreneurship universe, it's time to focus on entrepreneurship education for youth workers.
For this, you will create six brainstorming stations in the activity room and you will distribute participants in six different groups. On each table, they will find a piece of flip chart paper where it is written one of the following tasks. On the first station, brainstorm concrete knowledge provided by entrepreneurship education. The second station, brainstorm concrete skills that are improved through entrepreneurship education. The third station, list concrete attitudes and values that promote entrepreneurship education. The fourth station, explain the role of youth workers in entrepreneurship education. Fifth station, understand what can be the impact of entrepreneurship education programs in local communities. And the sixth station, imagine how can entrepreneurship be more than a career choice, but a way of life. The participants will spend then 30 minutes in their initial station discussing on the topic and writing on their flip chart paper. Afterwards, they will move clockwise to the other stations, read the task of the other teams and add remarks, if they have any, in other 10 minutes per station. They will travel through the other working station until they return to the initial stations and read all the remarks left by the previous teams. Time for debriefing, don't you think? I have one suggestion for debriefing that could cover this activity, but feel free to be creative and come up with new ones or even with questions. Offer to the participants three minutes to think about lessons, concepts, new ideas identified during the activity and one by one in a circle will have to say a phrase with his or her aha moment, the learning peak of this activity for him or for her. If you have any suggestions to improve this activity, please leave me a comment. See you in the next activity dedicated to startup ecosystems in Europe.